When we think of bullying, we frequently think that a juvenile bully bullies a juvenile victim. But that is not all true. There are adult authority figures that can be bullies who want everything. Attention, money, physical property, automatic honor, TV every day, power to control history, power to control people, power to be their own negative consequences, and power to prevail legal selfishness, to feel infinitely positive by looking out for number one, like a survival of the fittest contest to see who goes to heaven. Adult authority figures need to take responsibility for their actions, but they are happily prideful by their right actions. And the oldest inexcusable excuse from adult authorities in the book is, I am just doing my job. And another inexcusable excuse is that a law enforcement uniform a law enforcement badge, a judge's robe, a degree, or a legal document is used as a lucky charm of invincibility. Today, I am showing you the five red flags of bullying by adult authority figures as an anti-bullying campaign. The first red flag of bullying is denying permission permanently on purpose. The different types of permission are parental permission from schools, from parental rating, from stores, from amusement establishments, or from other events. Intellectual property permission by using somebody's works for another person's creativity slash publications slash marketing slash entertainment slash learning aid, business permission, and government permission. Even though permission first policies are ethical, the truth is that permission first policies destroy some people's future successes and that permission first policies prohibit the victim's dreams to come true, thus shattered dreams. Asking for permission may not work thanks to deceit, and asking for permission is like a game of luck, and the licensor is like a die or like a deck of playing cards. Outside of the libertarian world, denying permission by non-sharing practices is ethical. That licensors control lives of other people. So, licensors who deny permission can prevail their respective businesses slash 
successes by selfishness. And so future generations and other pawn people will be put out of life by treating future generations and other pawn people as permanent slaves slash nobodies. If licensors deny permission to a pawn person, a pawn person will never be a somebody. Not giving permission frequently is selfish, and selfishness counts as murder. Part 2 will continue next.